Marcus? Marcus! Dad? Hello, Marcus. What the hell? What's the middle of the night? Perhaps we should talk somewhere else. Wait, what, 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 what's going on? How did you? I died, Marcus. Let's talk in the dining room. Son, it's been a while. Sorry about that. You're sorry? Dad, what, what is this? I'm dead, son. I woke up, I felt everything go cold, and then I was here. All right, this, this has to be a dream. Maybe. Feels real to me. So what, you're a ghost? I'm not sure. I don't feel like a ghost. How are you here? I have no idea, son. Okay, um... How did you... Heart attack, I think. I woke up and I felt like my chest had suddenly turned to concrete. I'm sorry. Yeah, well... Death and taxes, huh? <laughs> right. I have no idea what to say right now. What, you never talked to a ghost before? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I fucking lost it, man. Chin Chin. Come on. So, how have you been? Well, I'm... sitting in my dining room in the middle of the night having a drink with my father, who I haven't seen in three years, and who's apparently dead. So, yeah, I'm fucking great. Yeah, well... Where the hell have you been, Dad? I, I've been all over. First, uh, Greece, and then... Ireland, Malta, lately, Spain. That's where I, you know, was. Everywhere your mother and I discussed. And, and, and you didn't think to call or, or tell us? We, we were worried sick. Three years, Dad. Nothing. We called every hospital and every police station. Over and over. He's been gone for three days. Detective. What do you mean he closed his account? Can you please phone my dad? to me. Detective. He's gone. Dad, it was mom's fucking funeral. And you just disappeared. And then nothing. Three years. I wish you would have just... Couldn't you have let me know? I, Couldn't I, you have I, let me know I, that you I, I were alive? Know. It wasn't like I, I didn't want you to know. What the hell does that even mean? I had to go, son. For her. She... She died. She died having never gone anywhere because I was me. And I had to do something about it. And there I was, standing over her. And I decided that... I had to go, then. 
I made up my mind to leave just then and make sure that no one could stop me. And then I just kept on going. I left you my ring. Didn't you find it? I, I thought that would be your, your ring. That you would yeah, know. I, but how was I supposed to? Were you ever going to come back? I don't know the honest answer to that. Jesus, Dad. Everywhere I went, I would read her writing. I'd sit and I'd look out at all the places she ever dreamed of seeing. And I'd say her words out loud, whispering like she did to you to put you to sleep. And in those moments, I could hear her and I could see her with me. And that's all she ever wanted. But I was too busy and too drunk to make that happen. And so I, I went and I spoke her words everywhere, everywhere she had ever dreamed of. And it was beautiful. It was magical. Was it selfish, maybe, but I'm an old man. I should be allowed to be a little selfish. But now I'm dead. I don't know what I did to deserve this moment. But I do know you were the only thing missing. I'm, I'm sorry, son. No, no, I, I just, um... Hey, what's going on? Nothing. Look, I, I couldn't sleep, and I didn't want to wake you, so I came out here. And I just thought this would help knock me back out. You need to take a break. You're working too much. Yeah. I keep telling you that. I know. So, come with me to my unveiling in Cairo next week. Take a break. They're setting me up in a nice suite. We can just take a few days, just relax. This might be the last time we get a chance to get away. Just the two of us. Hmm? No. I guess. We should go to Greece. Greece? After Cairo. <laughs> just the two of us, a real vacation, no work. Isn't that where you always wanted to go? Yes. Well, the news will be here when we get back. And you're right. I need a break. And my mom always dreamed of going there. Marcus, are you all right? Yes. Yes. You just suddenly want to go on vacation. <laughs> I know. I know, but I do. And. I'll be back to bed soon, okay? I just need to finish a thought, and tomorrow we will book that trip. We need this. Yeah, we just found out about a week ago. That's fantastic, son. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I really wish you and Mom were going to be there. You're going to do great. How old is Mom? You can't catch me. Dad, I can't 
Do you remember that night when you watched me? Mom was on her book tour. We made big ice cream sundaes and moved the recliners in front of the TV so that we could stay up all night watching. Old episodes of Superman, the George Reeves one. And the animated ones. We stayed up almost all night. You knew every word of that opening monologue. Never missed a line. You kept nodding off and then popping back up when a new episode started. It, it, you acted like I didn't notice, and, and each time a new one started, you would wink and nod, say something like, I could watch Superman all night. <laughs> yeah, well, I was drunk that night. That's why I kept on dozing off. I should have been able to put you to bed when you fell asleep, but we both passed out in front of the television in our recliners, and that's how your mother found us the next morning. That's why she never went on tour again, why she gave it all up. She couldn't trust me to watch over you. Even after I gave up drinking, it's too late. Well, it was still one of my favorite nights, Dad. Do you remember my father? A little? I was pretty young when he... He was a dentist, you know. He had a <laughs> twisted sense of humor. So uh, once when I was about 10, I needed to have a tooth pulled on Thanksgiving. So we went to his office. We were the only ones there. He popped me up onto the chair. He clipped the towel around my neck and he told me to open my mouth. He would give me a, a bit of Novocaine to dull the pain so it doesn't hurt so much. And so I opened my mouth wide and I feel a shot, a few quick pokes, and then all of a sudden he's holding my tooth and pressing gauze into my mouth, chuckling. Then he takes some more gauze and tells me to keep my hand up against it so that it until it stops bleeding and drooling, and we head off home from my mother's delicious Thanksgiving feast. Do you remember those? Oh, my mother could cook. So we get home, and my mother comes running out and says, well, well, what happened? Where's the tooth? And, and so I hold up uh, the jar with a little tooth in it, still holding my uh, <laughs> hand up to my mouth. <laughs> and my mother says, ah, well, you need to keep that tooth save for the tooth fairy. And then my father says, <laughs> oh, uh, you can take the gauze down now. I had forgotten it was even there. I couldn't feel anything. In fact, I could not feel my mouth. <laughs> I lowered my hand and my jaw just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my brother Jimmy, you remember him, Uncle Jimmy, he comes running and he goes, he says, did you do it? Did you do it? And he's laughing. Oh, he had numbed my whole damn mouth. <laughs> I couldn't feel anything. The only thing I could eat all day were mashed potatoes. <laughs> and he's chewing on the turkey. And he turns to me and he says, How are those potatoes, Bert? Mmm. <laughs> Great turkey this year, Mom. Best yet, huh? Mmm. And Jimmy chimes in laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Grandma loved that. She was furious. Uh. <laughs> but that was my dad. But he did bring me up a warm plate that night to my bedroom after everything had worn off with a big slice of pie. Mm. I wonder if I'm going to see them again now. What does it feel like? Feels like I'm sitting here with you, enjoying something I swore I'd never touch again. <laughs> Still feel guilty about that. I'd say it's all right, Dad. Death claws, huh? I feel like I should impart some wisdom to you. 
let you in on some, the big secret to it all, but I guess I wasn't very good at it, was I? Can't you muster a little lie to make your dead dad <laughs> feel better? No, no, I, I, you were great dad. <laughs> That's stretching. You were great. I'm sorry I disappeared. I just wish I'd known. To mom. To your mother. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's, it's Superman. Superman. Yes, it's Superman. Strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. You remember it. Of course, Superman who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend steel with his bare hands, and who, disguised- is Disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for, for a great, great metropolitan, metropolitan newspaper, newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, justice and, and the, the American, American way. way. <laughs> you know, they changed that ending. Really? Truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. <laughs> better indeed. I can fly! I love you! I love you, son. Bye, Dad.